Hello all. All right, today we're going to talk about a volcano that really is threatening the planet. Let's go over the board and look at it. So, Mount Pukito volcano is on the border of North Korea and China. Now, this volcano is considered one of the biggest, one of the 10 biggest volcanoes on the planet. However, it's not considered a super volcano. However, the millennium eruption from this volcano was one of the biggest eruptions the planet's ever seen. Uh, that happened about 4,000 years ago and hasn't erupted since. However, there's been a lot of activity on the mountain. The reason they know it is because the mountain is considered sacred and many people walk up to the top and back down. It's about 9,000 feet um, for religious purposes. This is why I think it's so, why this volcano is really so important. North Korea usually doesn't ask help from anybody. But North Korea came to vo volcano scientists and asked them to come and monitor and take measurements of the volcano. They did that and they found that the magma is definitely rising up from below. They don't have a time yet of the next eruption, but it looks like there's one imminent. What happens if this erupts the same, in the same uh, veracity as, as 4,000 years ago? Well, it will do something really bad. Let me show you. Let's go to the board. On a little bike ride this morning. Our fog is in. And it's very cold. <laughs> 54 when I left. It hasn't warmed up a bit since. Uh, some of the coolest weather we've had probably since last year. Winter of last year. 2014. Or 13, I guess it would be. Yeah. Um, I wanted to tell you a quick story about um, someone who told me they worked for a school, for preschool, and the teachers were amazed when it rained this year for the first time in so long, and the kids started to cry. And the reason was because the kids had never seen rain. It's been that long since we've had serious rain. Unbelievable. So, let's say China's sort of this area, North Korea's sort of like this and then comes down into the peninsula. Uh, the volcano is about here. What will happen if that volcano erupts? Okay, North Korean Peninsula. North and South. A huge amount of ash will cover both the north and the south of Korea. But that isn't all. <laughs> Japan lies something like this. North Korea is up in here. That plume of ash will be doing something like this and will completely cover Japan in a huge amount of ash. Scientists haven't been up at the volcano long enough to find out a history of when it erupts, what the time scale is. But all they can do is measure the outflow of the gases coming out and they're finding that they're increasing by quite a, a lot quickly. There is a crater lake in this volcano and unfortunately that's going to really play a really bad situation if it does explode. The, um, there are many villages around that area all throughout China, so many, many people will probably die from this volcano when it erupts if they can't get people out of the way in time. Will the ash do anything more than North and South Korea and Japan? Oh yes, it'll get hooked up into the, into the jet stream and spread all over the world, blanketing our planet with a layer of ash and sulfur, which will then cause major climate change in the cooling aspect to where we could end up in another small ice age because of this volcano when it erupts, if it erupts as big as the last time. We really don't know, so I'll just keep you informed of this one. This really is an important volcano. Uh, on another subject of volcanoes, the Yellowstone uh, volcano has been threatened by Putin to blow it up with an atomic weapon of some sort. The questions being asked is, will this cause a super eruption uh, annihilating the planet that way. My personal beliefs is no. 
I think it would cause some eruptions, but they would be small. The reason I say that is because the magma chamber underneath is semi-solid. In fact, it's too solid to erupt, so it would probably just do nothing really, but a few, but a few little volcanoes around the edges or something. We don't know. It could cause a major eruption, but doubtful. And if it did cause a major eruption, Russia would die anyway, just like the rest of the world. And I really appreciate the last comments on the last videos, and uh, the ups and the downs and all that. And till next time.